friends <coughs> our tutorials we are back with our tutorials and now we have got a future see in english we don't have a future tense there is no future verb so when you have got a verb in the present tense verb in the past tense and so on but not verb in the future tense no such thing english has only two tenses that is one is present and the other is past now what do you have to express your actions in future so what do you do there are various ways of expressing that's why i have written like this expressing future time not future tense i did not say tense but time understand now there are many ways of expressing future in english one is will a probable actions we say will is sir this will be familiar we are not familiar with this now will i will go you will go she will go see they will go like that will if it is a planned action we use see example is i will go i will go he will go except and suppose this is probable action probable if it is a planned action suppose well planned action then you use going to b plus going to b plus going to b means you know you have got is am um, are three forms remember no so third person singular first person singular i am and third person plural and second person plural etc are so you say he is going to meet her he is going to meet her he is going to meet her so that is a planned action so b form of b is here is plus you have got going to and then you have the rest of the sentence he is going to meet her i am going to go to a film i am going to go to a film because i plans last two days i have been working very hard so i am going to go to a film okay i uh, she is going to she is going to meet her hero she will meet her hero is probable she will meet her hero she is going out she will meet her hero. See, we are going to go out for a walk and difference we will go out for a walk when is we will go we will go out for a walk is probable action may or may not happen see but on the other hand if you say we are plan we are going to go out we are going to go out we are going to go out on a trip so there is planned action difference between probable action and planned action now another way of using is the third way of expressing future time is the simple present with the time expression he comes tomorrow he leaves the after tomorrow he comes simple present So here, what I have is simple present plus time expression. Time expression. That is, you say he comes tomorrow. Tomorrow. He is. He leaves next week. He comes tomorrow. He leaves next week. So this. So. the ghost comes in the morning the ghost comes the ghost disappears in the morning remember hamlet goes hamlet's father goes hamlet and his father goes they were in uh, they get to the <laughs> in the beginning of hamlet and he says martin to be near hamlet's father the ghost of hamlet's father says and then 
he leaves. So he can say, the ghost leaves in the morning. The ghost comes by night. Witching time of the night. Who comes? The ghost. Ghost comes. So simple person. We take exams next week. We take your exams next week. So we take your exams next week. So simple person. And a time expression. Okay. A third is we can use present progressive. Present continuous. For the we can use present continuous. So this is what I said. There is not tense like that. Only certain ways of expressing future. Present continuous. Action planned for the near future. For example, they are moving to Muna. They are moving to Muna. Tomorrow. Moving to Muna. Muna tomorrow. They are moving to Muna tomorrow. Understand? So, present continuous for the very near future. Near future. Must be uh, near future. Not far. You cannot say they are moving to Muna next year. That, that you are they are going to go to Muna. Well, that's a plan act. It's also a plan, but the next year. The next door neighbors are leaving. The next door neighbors are leaving. So you said we have been so much harassing them, so they are leaving. Understand? Harassing them. We are living in five minutes. We are living in five minutes. We are leaving in five minutes. We are leaving in five minutes. The seminar will be the seminar is the seminar we can say we are moving the, the seminar is coming to an end. The seminar is coming to an end in one day. In two minutes, two minutes, five minutes. The seminar is coming to an end. So we are we are saying bye in, in a few seconds. We are saying bye in a few seconds. We are saying bye. It's near this. Listen. That's another way. And fifth is again you see what happens is that you know, Action of being very near future. You can say be about to. Use be about to. Be here means is am um, Okay. He is about to leave. He is about to leave. He is about to die. About to die. The patient is on the ventilator. Ventilator support. Just remove the ventilator support. He said, what did I do? That is very near. Five minutes, six minutes is going to happen. It's about to rain. It's about to rain. Listen, it is about to rain. Then you can say, we are about to take our lunch. About, yes. Lunch is already there. Just wash your hands and sit there and start eating. Yes. Listen. And again, the other, one more way of doing it, that is B and to, B, B to, B to. You are to stay here. Advice or order. You are, you are to stay here. To stay here. You have to mingle with others. Because some people, you know, they don't talk to others. You know? The leader will say, you have to mingle with others. You have to mingle with others. You have to mix with others. You are you have to eat properly. Some you like this. So you have to eat properly. 
Listen, you have to come with all your credentials. Tomorrow it is interview. So the man preparing the interview, preparing is preparing to say arrangement, preparing all the arrangements for the interview will say, can they sir, please listen, you have to come tomorrow, you are, you are to, we don't say you will come to, or you are going to, you cannot say, or you come to, you cannot say, see. So there are different ways of expressing things. You have to come tomorrow with all your credentials. So that's what happens is that you say, it's sometimes what happens. It is very near future and most, so I'm sorry, most of the time it is about advice or suggestion or an order. See? You are not supposed to sit there. See? You want to sit there. Not here, not there. You have to sit here, not there. You are to. B2 means R2, am to, is to. All the three present forms of B. So there are different ways. Eh? Half a dozen ways I have already given you. To see, the, for example, say, will it is probable, be going is planned. Simple present time is, he comes tomorrow. It's a kind of information you are giving. He comes tomorrow. So you can say it's a tells you about information. So the information. Near future we say they are moving tomorrow. Near future. And B about to is nearest future. Nearest future. Nearest future. Nearest the future. My handwriting is not good, yes. People complain that my handwriting is not good. <laughs> what can I do? That's why I am shouting out also. Not only writing but shouting out. So there you are. So and last one is so there is an order, suggestion, suggestion, advice, order. Advice or order. You are to come tomorrow, second of tomorrow. You are to present yourself for uh, the interview. You are to present yourself for the parade. Parade, South Time, NCC. Alright, so expressing future time in English, you have got half a dozen ways. There are more ways if you want, but for the time being, that's all this. Now you can see when is probable action. Any probable action can be expressed by will. It will rain, I will go, they will come, they will move, they will eat, she will marry, I will marry, I will not marry, she will not marry. I will climb, she will climb, I will climb, I will climb over us, she will not climb over us, no Okay, the next one is Plan the future. We are going to go to. We are going to go to Mona. We are going to take our exam. We are going to take our food. We are going to erect a tent. We are going to work on the farm. We are going to uh, going to go to our class. We are going to go to our class. We are going to go to a film. We are going to go to the cinema. We are going to go to church. We are going to go to the church that is building. Yes. The next one is info, uh, information. That is simple present time expression. He comes tomorrow, he leaves tomorrow, they, 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 he comes tomorrow, he, he sings tomorrow, or he, he comes prepared for eating, uh, prepared for Attending our invitation next week. He gets he gets ready for a walk. He gets ready for a walk. He gets ready. He he jumps out of the jar. He jumps out of the jar in a few minutes. Magician says that. He jumps out of the war jar in a few minutes. That's and then we have an information we have seen. 
Nihilism. What's the meaning of this? He is, or they are living, they are living uh, in a few seconds. They are living in a few minutes. They are arriving. The chief guest is arriving in five minutes. People are resting, they are uh, shouting. Announcement comes, please stand by for the announcement and please listen and that is, the chief guest is arriving. And you start clapping. But there is no chief guest. That is something wrong. And be about this immediate future. He is about to die. He is about to marry. At the time, Muhurth. He is about to jump from the terrace. Call police. He is about to jump. You know, he will jump. <laughs> that is the problem. And the last is me too. That's all I don't know. You have to meet me tomorrow. You have to take down notes. You have to take down notes. You have to bring your notebooks tomorrow. You have to get your writing materials from the office. You have to get your writing materials from the office. So these are different ways of expressing future time in English. My dear friends, don't be disappointed when I say that there are only two tenses in English. All right, cheer up. We will continue. Next class till then, bye. Have a nice day.